was out on a nature hike today and uh, check out this termite hatch going on right here on this pine tree. Now, I didn't think they were supposed to like pine trees that much. Crazy. Oh yeah, they're just floating away, flying away. Ah, they're getting my face. Whoa, termites in 3D. So, people watch your house, it's called Terminex. The hatch is on. Dang. All right, later. All right, guys, here on my uh, journey, we uh, was walking through and uh, found a uh, Found this old shell casing. It's a 30 odd sick, you know, typical deer round. And uh, if you ever find yourself off in a situation, it might be uh, to your advantage to find one of these. If you find see someone over there in the distance and you holler at them or whatever, and they can't hear you, you can always take that shell case and make a whistle out of it. So, don't overlook that if you happen to be in a survival situation. Now, me, myself, I prefer to be lost in the woods. But, uh, you know, if you want to get stranded and you happen to see someone, like, way over there. See, we're up on top of this bluff here. And maybe you're hollering and they can't hear you because of the river. Maybe that certain pitch will uh, get their attention. You know, so... Just a little tip. I'm sure everyone already knows, but just in case you don't, you never know. <laughs> All right, guys, later. All right, so this is our, uh, oops, this is our uh, camp that we made, and it was good because it just come pouring down rain a minute ago. And then we was high and dry, and uh, so just put the poncho up. We went out uh, four points, and then we was able to just turn around from our sitting bench right here and uh, turn around with our legs on this side and the water ran right off it was good there's still some puddles up here but not much so that didn't rain much but it just was like really quick and uh got that we found some fishing line and i came over here i tied it to a stick and uh got a lizard out there i don't know if that's going to do anything or not but my line it's hanging off that tree right there. Okay, that little branch I got. And then from there, I got it wrapped around this log here. I got this piece of uh, cedar or whatever it is pushed out there, and you can kind of see that line going right over that. That holds it out there a ways. It's kind of crossed in between that root and that cedar on top, and it's just hanging down right there. So if something grabs it, it will snatch on that line and we'll know. So that's good. This is a good little spot right here. This uh, pool is off the, off the swiftness of the creek right there. So if anything does happen, they might come in here and in this little thing and take a look. Hopefully they'll see that lizard and we'll have us a nice bath. All right, later. All right, here's some of that great Florida sunshine rain. Where the sun's out, and it's raining, so we're gonna have us a little grilled spam there before we head back. And uh, tarp's doing good, but uh, probably built the fire too close to it. <laughs> but nonetheless, it is right there, and the tarp is right there. Got my stick in here, the blueberry. I mean, an uh, inkberry or gallberry. Clearly, what we always called them wild blueberries. And uh, I'm going to burn some of that green out of it. And then I'll be able to skewer my spam right on the end of that. And it'll be good. So that's the plan. Okay, there ain't nothing better than hanging out on the creek out here in the summertime, roasting some spam on a stick. Okay? This thing is good under our poncho tent, <laughs> right on the water. So, 
having a good time. About to have our little uh, spam uh, kebab here. <laughs> and then uh, head on back to the truck. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later. Yep, chilling in our little house. Well, we got sunshine on a rainy day.